What is going on you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen episode 14 called Fluctuations. We're gonna pick up where we left off the last episode which was insane fight between Chozo and Itadori. If you like Jujutsu Kaisen, smash the like button. If you like my channel, consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump into it. Right, so we saw Mei Mei, she got like trapped in a domain expansion by the special grade. But what I was saying as well is that she We've seen her on the field. She's had plenty of experience. Step one, restrain me in a coffin. Bury me under a gravestone. Start a three count. Disease curse. I'll contract that disease and die. But three seconds? Is that why she keeps having to break out of it? I wouldn't want to fight Ghetto in that state. Only two, so maybe there's one that's still outside. Oh, trapped. Wow. Three seconds. Oh, wow. The bait and switch. <laughs> Will you die for me? What? He probably will say yes. Crazy. Although, she will probably be able to save him in time. But still, that's kind of bizarre. But we still haven't seen what his abilities are. He suppressed her abilities. Oh! The other hands basically uses some form of mudra. New shadow star. Oh wow, he deals with the domains. But something else seems to be happening though. Oh. Oh, the crow was used to attack at that force as well. He's using a pack that puts your life on the line. Crazy. Blackbird manipulation. The sole exception of Satoru Gojo. I mean, is he not the exception to everyone? Oh, wow. Well, whoever this ghetto is, who's ever controlling him, for a modern source, this guy just wants to drink the whole time. Go home if you're not going to hell. <laughs> So who do they still have left? They've got Chogo, right? Or Jogo. He disappeared like a while back. He finished off that other guy with the with the knife, the dull blade or dull knife or whatever. Chozo collapsed when fighting Itadori. Which one is this now? You guys are a bit too slow. Bro, how fast is he? Even as a drunk. What? Is that all the people? That is crazy. So this is Jogo's creation, I'm get I'm guess. Who's this? No wonder you are weak. A cursed wound. Bro, there's so much in the show I, I mean i said every episode but there's so much in the show that like there's just more and more levels deeper and deeper and deeper mad it's basically it was in like a larval form and now it's like hatched from like some form of cocoon or womb as he said i am dagon 
Wait, what is this guy? Is busy talking about frame rates and stuff? And I swear he said in anime. So I think he's just like trying to confuse the mind to like distract him. We all have names. <laughs> oh, so he kind of got it emotional by completely ignoring that it like it's a person or an actual sentient being what did it literally turn it into a screen it's quite strong though like he was talking about frame rates and resolutions of tv and then he literally turned him into a screen water manipulation it seems impossible quick as well oh it's this man yeah so he basically has like what do you call it the drunken monkey you know that old old school technique probably faster than jogo Projection sorcery, wow. Whoa. What? <laughs> oh my gosh another technique that i'm gonna have to break down what that's broken so you basically have to choose like one of 24 frames but it can't be anything that has a technique is that what i'm picking up aside from gojo obviously i mean that wasn't even question a uh, seal oh domain I wonder if, it, if it's a domain or if you actually teleported him far away. Oh, it is a domain, yeah. Oh, he took them all there. And now he's, he's literally surrounded by a body of water. Oh. They didn't exist until they hit. I knew that man was different from the others. Bro, like... Death Swarm. Oh my gosh. I don't know how they're gonna dodge it though. Oh, he's only going for the old man. Oh, they've already got him. He's the only one who can stop them. Oh, the sea's the source of all life. Oh yeah, I mean he does look like Davy Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean with the the octopus head. Endless emerging sh Shigigami. That's like what Megumi uses. Oh. If you're gonna call me weak, then kill me in a single blow. Octo bitch. <laughs> Magumi. One hell of a cheeky underclassman. <laughs> Magumi. Ah, let's go. How foolish. The guaranteed hit effect is gone. A playing tug of war. But he, like I was saying, he's also got the Shikagami, the wolves, the frogs. Oh. 
Damn, I thought none of me was finished. You know, yeah, he got his face bashed in. Oh, his arm is gone. He only took one measly arm. Oh my gosh. Within under a minute, your whole life has now changed by losing an arm. Like, that's how dangerous these cursed spirits are. Currently thinks our domains are pushing for control. So they can escape, problem. I don't intend to throw it away. Oh, he, he knows. Oh, so that's the thing. Even though it has this like powerful domain, it's not Gojo who can like do it multiple times. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Fushiguru, Toji, he came through. Oh my gosh. This just completely turns it around. And I said I wanted to see him, like, actually, like, see Megumi. I want to see the interaction between them, which is going to be wild. Wow, what a crazy episode. Every single time, it's like, the only time I actually figure out what's going on is when I edit the video. Because there's just so much happening. Basically, we saw Dagon... The octopus guy he was in some form of larval stage they called it a cursed womb which is a term i never heard before essentially what happened was that that wasn't at his peak strength when he had eaten all those people and that's when I've, i forgot his name now the, the old man mustached man basically he was able to just like because he can split one second into 24 frames you know his whole technique he kept talking about ultra hd and frame rates and I was I didn't understand what he was talking about but that is basically his technique from what I understood he's able to split one second into 24 frames and basically you have to choose what frame you only have those those 24 choices and you can't use anything that manipulates the laws of physics if I'm if I'm remembering that correctly and if you do then you'll be frozen so that's why he's able to freeze people so if you don't make also I think if you don't make a choice then it also freezes you and he basically puts you in that screen obviously dagon the octopus dude was able to defend that even when he went for the kill he was able to block nanami's strike but then obviously that wasn't even the most cr the craziest thing about his technique because he was able to all these guys can do a domain expansion which is which is like their po most powerful move because once obviously they once they have you in their place they can manipulate everything that they want to but then we saw that what the old man was basically saying was that if he activates his domain or the narrator was actually saying if he activates his domain then it sort of becomes this battle between whose domain is stronger like the tug of war they spoke about but he had a different type of technique where it sort of protects he, he doesn't activate his own but it, the technique activates with on top of him and so it basically protects him from the manipulation of the other person's domain while he he's inside of it so i mean i don't even know if i remember that correctly i mean i just watched it but then we saw megumi appear and you know he was able to then go through that tug of war because he was able to enter and i mean crazy strength and that's why i'm saying these cursed users and i guess the enemy they're so strong it's like this isn't even jogo or mahita and stuff or mahito this isn't even those guys so it's like to me it's kind of like you know is out right the old man's arm is missing like how long before the pressure is too much and now you see why gojo is so important but it's also like it's a crutch at the same time because now that he's out the picture it just seems like these guys are so strong like one person is able to do all of this to what four of them you know they're all struggling against one and now we see fushiguru come through the domain the hole in the domain that megumi opened which is a 
hilarious because he is so strong but it also depends now what side does he choose like who is he against because remember before he was only doing things because you know he was paid to do it. you know that was just for the contract so if it's that same person is he just gonna go after the sorcerers or is he gonna be playing his own game this is gonna be very interesting to see but anyways that's gonna be it for me if you like Jujutsu Kaisen hit that like button consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date that's gonna be it for me thanks for watching if you're watching i'll leave the old video up over here peace in a bit